What up, Knights and Crusaders? Dave here with our episode of Skyrim. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe at the beginning of this video and join the Crusader Army. Let's get started. So, we got the first of our arcane arrows as part of the Creation Club. Looks like we got a letter. We've got... Okay, so we're getting quite a few things. Uh, like I said, we're Listen, doing the Creation Club. And join up with the Imperial Legion. Could really use someone like you. If the rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Mm. Beg to disagree. But got some things right off the bat, and we're gonna be working on, you know, building up the Creation Club quest along with the main storyline. Oh yeah, <laughs> just can't bunch See of stuff. That ruin up there, Bleak Falls Barrow. When I was a boy, that place always used to give me nightmares. Draugr creeping down the mountain to climb through my window at night, that kind of thing. I admit, I still don't much like the look of it. I don't blame you. That would be terrifying. Travel to Solstheim. These are the Guardian Stones. Three of the third ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Warrior. Good. I knew you shouldn't have been on that cult the minute I laid eyes on you. Thanks, but I'm pretty sure everyone else there was warriors as well. Oh gosh. I have so many quests starring with the Creation Club. Swift as Listen, an arrow. As far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your part. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, alright? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. Ooh. Little buggy, little buggy. Oh, thanks for the save. Yeah, I hope the uh, Creation Club stuff doesn't make my game all buggy, laggy. We're almost to river. Glad I stuck with you. You said we should probably go separate. Oh, after this first part, when we get to Riverwood, I cannot wait to look at my quest log. It is going to get so full. Very nice looking little town. Makes me think of that song from Belle. Where she craps on everyone. Come on, there's my uncle. Craps on everyone about being in a small town, then she marries a man beast, so Uncle there's Harvard. that. Hello. Hadvar, what are you doing here? Are you on leave from shores, boats? What happened to you, boy? Shh. Are you in Uncle, some kind please. of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. Gosh, this game looks so good. I don't care what anyone says. I know there's so many mods to improve the graphical appearance, but like, ah, Skyrim's just special, man. It's something else. Sigrid, we have company. Take a seat. Hello, small child. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. 
Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Now then, boy. What's the big mystery? What are you doing here looking like you lost an argument with a cave bear? I don't know where to start. You know I was assigned to General Tully as a score. We were stopped in Helgen when we were attacked by a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Mass confusion. I don't know if anyone else got out alive. I doubt I'd made it out myself if you didn't let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food, supplies, a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Oh, thank you. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. But I need your help. We need your help. Sure, let me just take your stuff first. Okay, I'm good. The Yarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. I already took the supplies. How do I get from Whiterun to here? From here. Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. When you get to Whiterun, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. What can you tell me about the Jarl? Jarl Balgraf? He rules Whiterun Hold. A good man, perhaps a bit overcautious, but these are dangerous times. So far, he's managed to stay out of the war. I'm afraid it can't last, though. Which side of the war does he favor? I don't think he likes either Ulfric or Elisif much. Who can blame him? But I've no doubt he'll prove loyal to the Empire in the end. He's no traitor. You support the Empire then? Of course. Skyrim has always been part of the Empire. That doesn't mean I support everything the Empire's been doing lately. But Nords have never been fair-weather friends. Who's Elisif? Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Elisif, I should say. Although only because she was married to Jarl Torig when he was murdered. Ulfric murdered Torig, you know. Walked right into his palace in solitude and killed him. Shouted him to death, if you believe the stories. That's what started this whole war. The Empire couldn't ignore that. Once the Jarls start killing each other, we're back to the bad old days. What can you tell me about Riverwood? Gerda's family first settled here as woodcutters a few generations ago. She and Hod run the mill. I make a decent living sharpening axes and fixing the sawmill. What do you think about the war? People are rightly stirred up about the damn Talmor being allowed to roam around arresting people just for worshipping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No. Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. Why are the Thalmor allowed to arrest people for worshipping Talos? It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Thalmor to outlaw Talos worship. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. And sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down. Dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. All right. Mm -hmm. Did you really see a dragon? What did it look like? Did it have big teeth? Hush, well, child. Don't pester your cousin. You two make yourselves at home. Okay, let's see what I can take. 
Oh, that was a good amount of gold. Can I help? A Gentleman's Guide to Skyrim by Mikhail the Bo Oh gosh. I just noticed who the author was. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Listen, I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to solitude from here. I'd recommend heading to Whiterun, just down the road from here. From there you can get carriage to solitude. Well, thank you for the advice. I am careful. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's do a little sneaky. Quick save. And there we go. Now I have a complete set of iron armored wear. And I am all get it out. Now I look like the sky uh, the Skyrim <laughs> Dragonborn from the trailers. Be careful. Oh, Make I stole your home. armor. <laughs> okay. Now there's a follower you can get right off the bat while you're here. All you have to do is either talk to Fangdahl or, uh, uh, I don't really care about the other one's name. Hi. Did I see you talking to Sven? A Sven. Maybe not. That's it. Maybe. Never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. What's your problem with Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. You hope? I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Sure. Mm -hmm. I can do that. So, Fandal, Sven can be like a follower too, but like, Fandal is way more better. Way more. Well, one of us has to do something. English is hard. I said no, thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, okay. Hi, Camilla. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. I have a letter for you from Sven. I was actually oh, told her the truth. He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Oh, you tell him. I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. The Riverwood Trader... Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could help you get the claw back. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, so northeast of town. Again? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Yeah, they just yip yap. Okay. New hey, Gerder. If you're looking for work, go see Hod at the mill. She's trying to show me around. Camilla, that is. But we want to get going. Let's go ahead and look at that quest log. And then we're going to go ahead and go Bleak Falls Barrow and get that uh, Riverwood or the Golden Claw quest done. So, turn that on. So, yep, as you can see, we have a bunch to do. Oh, crap, I got to talk to Fangdahl first. You know, there's all this stuff here. And there's this balance of power.
Oh, yeah. A lot to do. Ah, the Lost Paladin's the one that holds special sword I want for my Crusader. Okay, let's get ourselves that follower. Hey, Fandal. Tell me, as soon as you've given Camilla. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Oh, God, that's so sad. Lead the way. What do you want me to carry? And I can arm him right off. Take that key to his house. Rob his house real quick. I can right away give him armor to wear. He's got a pretty good bow. And there we go. Lead, I'll We've got a slightly armored follower. And I believe this is his house right here. Yes, here we go. Loot our new friend's house, and then get going. A feeling we're friends. You can't steal from a friend. Wonder how many people are mad that I said that. Is this an iron dagger? Come on. Hunting bow. There we go. Take the iron helmet, take this, give him something better than, oh yeah, he's got books. That's right. Iron arrow, iron arrow. Ooh. So I, I, talk I, I, to Feindall, trade some items. What do you want me to carry? So you have an iron dagger, that's your melee weapon, so instead... Oh, I forgot this. Let's give him a better arrow. Bone arrow. Does the most damage. So we'll give him one of those. Apparel. Helmet. Melee weapon. Almost forgot to give him... That. Lead on. Okay, so he's definitely better equipped now for a fight. And we're going to go ahead and call this episode good. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.